right after that little uh, test it seemed to go all right but uh, I did have a, a bit of a f electrical problem at the beginning but managed to sort that now uh, isolated where the problem was um, so what I've started to do now is to blend this bank in taking it round here and round into the back of the coal merchants and what I've done here is the fence used to be along the back of there. So what I've done, I've uh, ripped it out, put it in this position, so it's more uh, line side now. And what I'll do is uh, just join back up in here, in these areas, and then black it all back up, and that should then create the canal bank there. And uh, now made up the retaining wall which I need to just uh, clad up now with the brickwork which then goes down to that area and that's when the bridge will come in and need to put another piece of MDF underneath there yet but for the time being I'm quite happy to do this section now Finishing that corner off there. Now, just under the uh, top of the viaduct track, I'll just uh, duck down. Bear with me. You have to excuse me, it's a little dark under here. And where that retaining wall is now, and then there's a, a track runs along the top, two tracks there. What I've started to do now is fill it in with cardboard there, and that will go. Oops, sorry about that. That will then go to the end of that board there, where the two carriages are. And that's the start of my uh, road. It takes me up and then up over the top into that corner there. And the actual stonework there will be carried on. Just let me move that out of the way. So the stonework, which is there now, clad this road and that is an imaginary uh, stone quarry with the road going up to it uh, so that's my next venture there and when I get down to that bottom end I'm thinking of putting uh, some sort of mining but I'll see how I'll go with this section here because what it is is when the viaduct comes round, which is in that direction, it comes round on stilts obviously and when it gets through here, I've had to screw it to the back of the wall. Well it wouldn't look right with buildings underneath, so I'm making it look like it's sat on the rock. And then what I'll do is I'll put pillars down at this section, here and there, at the front. It should look okay. I do apologise. I know it's dark under there. I'll try and sort some lighting out for when I uh, get more progress done. So when I get a little bit further on, I'll uh, do another little video. Hello and welcome back to the Railway Channel. This is uh, Crawford Street Junction. Um, I've been working on now the stonework, as you can see there. Um, this is going to be like, it's my backdrop, but it's there's going to be a, looking like there's a quarry behind it and this is the face of the quarry. And what I want to do is I've built it underneath the viaduct, as you can see there. But what I've got here is a piece of timber that sticks out. So what I'm going to do. I just hope I don't get in shot and spoil everything. Is put this board on here now, like so, and I'm going to build the rocks up so it looks like it's holding this part of the viaduct up. And then I'm going to put corner post on there and there, and then rock it here and a bit here down onto this wall, and then return it back over there. 
because uh, I still want it open at the front so you can actually see the train going through. Uh, so in the background, put that down. In the background, this is where the road comes up and up, and then going to the corner over there. So I didn't want it to be flat against the wall, so I'm bringing it across and uh, make it look like it's partly built in and it comes out over and I've got some lighting to go underneath after that. Uh, as you can see now the retaining walls in and runs down to the bottom there. Now I was pretty shocked when I went down to my model shop. These two panels here, this one and this one, I've got plastic card on. And I was going to do the lot in plastic card. But from this distance where I sit and where the camera is now, you can't tell the detail from there, neither can I. So the thing that really peed me off was when I started buying the plastic card, it £1.20, £1.40. I've gone in this time and it's £2.90 odd. But it'd take about seven sheets to do that lot. I bought them, but I'm thinking I need to use that on something that's closer and more detailed. So I'm just going to go with the grey and I'm going to colour it up to the brickwork. You know how we do it now, and it's quite industrial. And then what I've used then is my coffee sticks cut out and then made the pattern for the wall. That'll get painted grey now. Put my copings on top, uh, and then I'll get me uh, hanging basket material, get it all, and across the bridge there, I'll get that grassed up so it matches the other side, and then uh, this part of the track then can be ballasted, and that'll take me down so far down there. So the thing that's taking the time at the moment is you're getting all these rocks moulded. So I'm going to crack on with that now and I'll show you a little bit of progress later on in the day. So I'll see you soon. Under the viaduct to there. This isn't too bad I don't think. What I've ended up doing now is I've put the droppers on the track at the top there and ballasted. Because obviously these rocks then will need to be uh, painted up before I put the bridge section in and then put the rock work round that. So the next thing to do will be when that's dried is to uh, test this section of track to make sure the locals run over it and there's no problems, no derailments, anything like that. And then moving down, that's obviously weathered now the wall. Uh, I've only got that far because I've run out of super glue to put the uh, coffee stirs on. So, the next thing then, the lower level has been uh, ballasted. And as we come to the canal tunnel mouth, that has now been landscaped up. And if you just let me change the position. I'll show you what it looks like from a bit lower. So that's what it looks like from down below now. Ballasted up to this corner. Uh, got some of my landscaping around the coal merchants. Just got to put that little bit of a fence in there and at the top. Uh, I'm looking down the track now. And that's the view you'll get. With the rocks in the background. And the tunnel mouth. There's a sweet round. And that's what it's time to get there. So overall, in the last few days, I've got uh, quite a bit done. It's looking okay, I think. Uh, on the next video, I will have finished the bridge. Hopefully, coloured in the rock work and put some greenery on it and then what I've decided to do if I get to 
where that last rock is over this section stop there and then make my way around and come to this corner which is at the side of the coal merchants and what I'll do is do this section next so then that's one complete section on this corner and then what I can do then is put the water in which will take me a while because I'm doing it in layers not pouring so from that canal there taking it round taking me back to the arches there so that'll be one big chunk done then uh, and in the next session hopefully of the trains running past as well to make it uh, come alive a little bit so thanks for watching if you like subscribe any comments look forward to reading them and as I say thanks again bye for now